try this again, shall we? Unlock your phone and hand it over. You can thank Valentine's obsession with you for the fact that you're still breathing. No more games, Nina. We're gonna find out if Valentine knows where my daughter is. Well, Valentine's good, but he's not infallible. I can't make him know something he doesn't. Oh, I'd try real hard if I were you. Oh, there he is. Oh, and just so we're clear, you're on speaker as of now. Nina, what a nice surprise. I'm sorry to bother you, Valentine, but I I just can't get Maxie off my mind and how much she must miss Louise. Oh, I know, it's awful. I was wondering if you had any information about the baby or who would have taken her? Uh, no, uh, Anna and I have been investigating, but we're running into nothing but dead ends so far. I promise not to get Maxie's hopes up. I, I just need a little reassurance. I, there must be some new information, Valentine. No. No, nothing. Are you all right? Yeah, it's just a little bit more rustic here than I like. You must love s staying at the Metro Court, Valentine. You get room service anytime you like. And so it goes. Bye. service? What the hell are you getting at? Well, Peter, I had to make it sound natural. I couldn't just ask about Louise and hang up. <laughs> oh. Mr. Sinclair, what brings you back to our neck of the woods? That was Nina? Yeah. That was odd. She didn't sound like herself. What's that? Well, her tone, it sounded forced. She was asking questions about Max's daughter. I mean, it's not the happiest of subjects. Maybe she was overcompensating or something? Maybe. Hey, you have very good instincts. What are they telling you? That I've got to call her back to make sure. Peter was just giving me an update, Phyllis, about that meeting that he took in New York with that editor. <laughs> How exciting. Was it successful, Mr. Sinclair? Uh, that remains to be seen. Hmm. Oh, I'm sure you're just being modest. You strike me as a real go-getter. We were just hashing out uh, the plot points for the book that Peter is pitching. So it's confidential, Phyllis, so if you don't mind leaving... I can take the hint. I only came back to drop off Mike's phone. We were supposed to go over the invoice for the construction supplies, but since Mike's not here, I'll grab it and look it over at home. I had no idea all this was being delivered, though it certainly needed. Can I get you to a cold one while I'm back here? No, thanks. I have to keep my wits about me. <laughs> See what I mean?